Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Thursday and I have your word for the day. If you were a friend of Jesus who had watched him get mercilessly beaten, whipped, scourged, nailed to a cross, get a sword stuck into his side, to his heart, and watched him die, would you believe that three days later Jesus was alive? I think it would be a hard pill to swallow. I think it would be hard to believe. And for a guy named Thomas, he really struggled overcoming what his brain said was impossible with what his eyes was actually seeing. In Luke chapter, in John chapter 20, when Jesus first appeared to his disciples after his death, uh, Thomas was not present with them. And when he heard that Jesus was alive from some of them later on, he refused to believe it. He insisted that he could examine, that unless he could examine the holes in his hands and the wounds on his body, he would not believe that Jesus was alive. So a week later, Jesus showed up to the same group of men, except this time Thomas was right there. Jesus didn't scold Thomas for his lack of faith. Rather, he invited Thomas to check out his wounds. Thomas did. He looked at the prints in his hands and the hole in his side. And his verbal response represents one of the strongest remarks anybody had made about Jesus yet. After Thomas looked at the wounds of Jesus, he declared, my Lord and my God. When I became convinced that Jesus was alive and, I was, and, and that he was going to return, I said something similar. And I began living differently as well. And if Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection means anything to us, we too will proclaim, my Lord, my God, you are the one who holds the keys to life and death and I will live for you. Now, early church historians write about what Thomas did for the rest of his life after he made that statement. He worked as a missionary in Parthia and in Persia and in India. And there's actually a church today on the west coast of India that traces its roots back to the early missionary work of Thomas. My Lord and my God to Thomas communicated that from now on, he had no more lingering doubts. He was sold out to follow Jesus the rest of his life. And that is what he did. The former skeptic, the former doubter, roughly 40 years later, would be martyred by Hindu priests in India for preaching the good news of Jesus. Following Jesus leads to life change. You can't follow Jesus and remain the same. I invite you to keep on making Jesus Christ your Lord and your God every single day. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, or leave a comment. God bless.